everybody how's it going today I'm going to be showing you a 3d camera tracker making something like that anyway let's jump in I'm going to throw my footage onto the timeline and I'll play it for you and you'll see that it's just me really holding my camera walking around it's a really terrible shot but I was just going to show you how good the 3d camera tracker is by using it uh, I'm going to scroll up to here probably stop about right there anyway um so we'll go up to the effects and presets panel and I'm going to go ahead and type in camera tracker and you'll see at the bottom the 3D camera tracker uh, 32 bit just go ahead and drag that on and instantly it'll start analyzing and this could take a while um, gives you that banner step one two obviously and you see it's initializing uh, once it's done doing that um, really take a minute it does it one frame at a time so I'm gonna go ahead and skip past all this uh, final logo is solving camera and then you'll have all these little track points and this little target following you around once you scroll through it um, well what you could do is to make these track points bigger you go ahead and do track point size make it bigger than 100% um, if you want to make the target bigger too you can also bring that up uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the different things you'll have to use on it. Um, first off, you'll have to go to the shape track points. I, uh, you're probably going to want to do 3D solve, so go ahead and do that. Um, your shot type, uh, mine's fixed angle view. Uh, you could do a variable zoom while you're moving. I don't do it. Hopefully you're not. Um, you can also specify your angle of view, but you're going to have to select that. Um, but you're probably doing a fixed angle of view. Uh, go to advanced. Uh, I had auto detect for my solve method, but um, as you can see, uh, my footage is really shaky. So um, that means that it's more of a typical shot type than uh, mostly flat scene. Mostly flat scene would be like a dolly, maybe like with some some bumps. Maybe a tripod pan would be just extremely flat and really easy to solve. But for mine, it's going to be typical, but I just selected auto detect just for no reason, I guess. Um, also, you're going to have to be careful if you have your warning banner. Um, this really screwed me over earlier, so make sure you pay attention. Um, the warning banner, uh, if you have any point in your video that uh, you cannot solve track points for, then you're going to have this red banner go across the middle of your screen and really disrupt everything. So even after you render, you'll have it. So make sure you check that box if you have it and then you won't have to deal with it um, anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and select some of these points you can just click anywhere and it'll select the three track points that you've selected for any target location but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click and drag these points that are around this sidewalk right here because that's where I want my text to be on the sidewalk as you saw earlier so uh, if you put your cursor in the middle of the target, you'll see that it becomes a move cursor and you just click and drag it and you can like drag this thing around and make sure that your scene is flat, which actually looks pretty flat for first try. Um, I'm not going to have my text up here or anything, but on the actual sidewalk it looks pretty flat, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, one way to show that's really flat is that compare your target size to the adjoining size of whatever you're putting it on and as long as it stays that distance will be good oh and make sure you don't put your target too far away because <laughs> you might actually have a hard time moving it if you make it too small so just be careful with that um, anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and you get a few options uh, create text and camera which is what I'm going to do I uh, just put a text on it create solid in camera create null in camera which you might use for like green screen or something but um create shadow catcher and camera light I actually did a uh, I actually did a tutorial on that earlier, which this will probably replace, but uh, it was harder to do that with this footage, so good luck with that if you're doing it. Um, uh, you see text shows up, it'll be on with the target, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, it'll be on my plane of axis, so I'm going to go ahead and click my rotations and do X rotation 90 degrees. Um, I'm going to put this in the middle of my sidewalk, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, slim this down a little bit. And yeah, that's way too small. Okay, all right. So there's my text, and uh, as I scroll, start scrolling through it, you'll see that it actually does a pretty good job of staying where I want it to be, and it'll actually 
once I get up close to it and once the initial frames are out of screen, it'll actually compare those track points to other track points later on in the video so you won't ever have to worry about uh, making another motion track which is why this 3D camera tracker is just so incredibly handy. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps you out with your current and future projects and as always, uh, thanks for watching.